Hello everyone. We are back with another exciting robot. This time we are going to construct a man who is using dumbbells. Let's go to step one. Here we are going to create two assemblies. The first one we need two single bars and we are going to connect one flat rotator here using a bolt and nut. Two more flat rotators here. Each of them is connected with one nut and bolt giving us one free circular hole. These two single bars are connected using a nut which is loosely coupled so that they can move. And we are going to connect one L connector at this end. We have created one more similar assembly here. Two single bars, one flat rotator this side, one flat rotator here, two more flat rotators here, connected using one one inch nut loosely coupled and then one L connector at this end. Here the nut bolts all heads are up and tails are pointing down whereas here the tails are up and the heads are below. Look that L connector is pointing down here it's, it's pointing up here. So please note that these two are mirror images. This one is going to be our left hand. This one is going to be our right hand. Let's go to next step. Here we are going to make the body. We take one C plate, we connect one flat rotator using one nut and bolt this side, one more flat connector using one nut bolt this side. We have also connected one 1.5 inch bolt and nut here. Now this is going to be same like this. So this is in the middle slit here. So it should be in the middle here also. One more C plate, one more flat connector using one nut bolt, one more flat connector using one nut bolt, one more 1.5 inch bolt and nut here. And additionally to this side we are going to connect a DC motor with shaft and on the shaft we are going to put one spacer. In addition to that we also have one flat rotator connected using a 0.5 inch bolt and nut. This is to create a hole here and flat rotator is going to be connected on this C plate as well. Exactly mirror image. So this is here in the lowest slit. It will be in the lowest slit there as well with the free hole on the front and the bolt on the rear of the slit. Exactly same we will have to create on this also. This is our left body. This is our right body. Let's go to next step. We take one square plate, one rectangular plate, connect them using one flat connector and two nut and bolts here. Onto the square plate we connect two nut bolts and between the square plate and the bolt there is a spacer. This acts like eyes of our man. The assembly which we created in step 3 we are going to connect to the body. We have left body and right body here and we are going to connect this assembly using one nut bolt to the flat connector here. One more nut bolt to the flat connector here. We are not going to connect these nut bolts right now. We are going to leave them as it is. These are legs. Use one C plate, connect two L plates using two nut bolts here and two nut bolts here. So they will act as the legs of our man. Connect the body to the legs using one nut bolt here which is connected to the flat connector. If you remember last time we left it as it is. So the flat connector and the L plate and this rectangular plate together are connected using this nut bolt. Same way here also all these three things are connected using this nut bolt. Now it's very difficult to put your finger inside there. So when you are putting it you need to slightly tilt it and put it. Connect it loosely once the nut is connected to the bolt then you can make it straight and start tightening it. We have one additional nut and bolt connected here to the rectangular plate and same way here also. And we have also attached one big axle here through the holes which we had created while we created the left and right body using a flat rotator 
and this axle is passing through both these holes and on the outer side we have put one spacer each here one here one let's go to next step since it employs oscillatory motion what we need is an earth point and most probably we use a big gear and 1.5 inch bolt and nut tightly connected to the big gear to create the earth point and on that bolt we have put one spacer and one shaft lock this one we are going to attach here and we are going to make one more such assembly and going to connect it this side and put one shaft lock both sides to secure them at the place we also connect a medium gear on the motor shaft and lock it with a shaft lock now we connect hands right hand this side connected to the earth point using a nut loosely coupled and to the fulcrum point another nut loosely coupled on the fulcrum point we have put two spacers you might need to use two spacers one hub or one spacer one hub that depends upon the distance what you need here similarly on this side left hand is connected using one nut loosely coupled on earth point one nut loosely coupled on the fulcrum point and that finishes the assembly now what is remaining is attaching the props we have cut dumbbells from the corrugated sheet and we have attached them to the hand i am sure you will like this robot do write about your experiences of making this robot in the comment section below and as always wait for the next robot